Hi there, this is Anna from Anna Aspenas Designs, and today I'm back with a brand new art play digital art collection and a layout deconstruct by team member Ola May, all the way from Sweden. So you can see on the screen, this is the layout that I am going to deconstruct in this video. But before we get started, let's go and take a look at the collection that she's used to create this digital artistry or artsy digital scrapbooking page. So you can see that you get five different products with this collection. That is the Art Play Palette Serenic, which means melodious. And I thought it was quite fitting for the upcoming Valentine's Day and just pretty great to celebrate family and friends and all the things that are love. And with that comes an artsy layered template word art and then this week we've got some photo blends and some multimedia elements. So the art play palette comes in two different folders. In the first folder we have the brush set which has a variety of elements that are delivered in both ABR and PNG format. So you can load the ABR file into your brushes panel and use those elements with the paintbrush tool or you can simply drag and drop these elements onto your layout and recolor, resize, rotate as preferred. So lots of different textures and patterns and different blending tools. This would make a great blending tool here. And then along with that comes the elements and I always provide a variety of different elements from labeled words two different dimensional elements and some of these are delivered in PNG format to which you can apply your own drop shadow layer style. The more complex elements come in both PSD format, that way you have both these layers in the same folder and this allows you to have a little bit more control over the manipulation of the drop shadow so you can recolor or change the opacity of that shadow depending on the background paper. And then for those of you working in a different program from Photoshop or Elements, then you can simply layer these two elements on top of one another to recreate that element. So a variety of elements there. And then my favorite are always the artsy papers. So lots of fun, whimsical designs with some pinks and some blues. Would be really great for baby pages, any kinds of flower pages, celebrating love. There's an artsy paper here. And then some more solid papers. So you can create your own artsy papers by adding in the transfers and overlays that are included with the second part of this collection. So you can't actually see these two very well. They are white art stroke layers. There's a couple of gold paint layers that you can blend into your backgrounds, different sorts of edges and transfers, lots of cool pieces that you can simply drag and drop and arrange on those solid papers to create those custom artsy backgrounds for your photos. And then moving on to the next product, we have the artsy layered template. This is a fun one. And you can see that we have a variety of different frames. So essentially what you're going to do is drag in the solid background of your choice. You're going to clip your own photos to the mask layers in these frame layers. And it would be really fun to add in one of the photo blends as one of our team members did, Marnie Morgan. And I can link her layout up in the information below. But she added a clipping mask into this area here and clipped a photo to it and then that allowed her to connect all of these frames, create a single focal point and then also add a fun blended image into her layout. So super quick way to create a page. You can either add your own journaling or remove these text boxes and then obviously replace this title marker here with the word art of of your choice. And there is lots of word art to choose from in this collection. We've got a variety of beaded threads. There are various word art files. 
we have some transfers that you can simply drag and drop and then some dimensional wood words. And so the idea being is that you would group perhaps two or three of these elements together to create your own title cluster. And then of course you have this ABR file too. I have created that for you from the word art and from the word transfers. And then finally moving on to the photo blends clipping masks. These are delivered into two different files due to file size. And each one of these is delivered in PNG format to which you can simply clip your photo or you have the PSD version in which all of these stains and various textures are included on their own separate layers so that you can recolor them and modify them to preference. So I am going to go ahead and go back to our layout and I'm going to turn off all of the different groups of layers so that I can show you how this page was put together. So Ella May created a brand new canvas for her layout and she did this by going to file new and then entering the, the width and the height of her choice and a resolution of 300 and then she created her foundation. And so to do this, she brought in Artsy Paper 2 from the Artplay palette Serenic. And so here we have a pre-designed paper to which you can add your own photos and words. And it's a great way to start so that you're not faced with a completely white blank canvas. It gives you some guidance as to where to place your photos. And she added further embellishment to this paper by adding in some gold paint from the same art play palette and you can see how she's repeated the use of the same paint here and this creates emphasis and rhythm and repetition in the design and helps lead the eye around the canvas. So we've got two lots of gold paint there and then she also added in a duplicate splatter which is included in the brush sets folder of the art play palette. So that was her foundation for her page. And then she introduced her photo and I love how she's placed that photo in that white space of the foundation layer. So if I go ahead and turn that off, you can see there's this white space here. You have two choices when you're working with artsy papers. You can choose to place the photo over some of the artistry and allow that white space to create some separation with other artistry in the canvas. Or you can choose to place the photo in the white space. And in this case, the photo serves to connect the two pieces of artistry on the artsy background. So let's go ahead and take a look how she created her photo. We have of course got our photo blends clipping mask and in this case Ella May chose to use the PNG single layer version to which she clipped her photo and this photo was created in an app on an Android phone and I will include that information in the notes below this video. So we have a photo that has a normal blending mode and then we have a duplicate copy. Notice how when we duplicate this photo and we apply a different blending mode, in this case multiply with an opacity of 75, how this emphasizes and really just pumps up the color and the intensity of that image. And then she added in a couple of adjustment layers which can be added from the bottom of your layers panel, top if you're working in Photoshop elements. And you're going to want to click on this sort of shaded split circle to access the different adjustment layers. And she has added a levels to slightly lighten that image. She has added a hue and saturation, a second hue and saturation. Notice how the second one adds more yellow tones into the mix and then a third one. And so some of these I'm not actually seeing the difference for. You can see how that modifies the greens. You see those really bright greens in the background here. And then this one here is very subtle 
and I'm not actually seeing, I think that just slightly lightens it a little bit. But she's added these different adjustment layers to affect the color and the lighting of the images that are clipped to the photo blends. And notice how she's clipped all of those adjustment layers along with her photo layers to the photo blends so that those adjustment layers apply just to everything clipped to that clipping mask. So I like the diagonal flow that we have going on. It's a nice tension creator in a very linear format. So if you think about it, when you're working with a square, you've got the horizontal and the vertical lines. So when we have this nice diagonal running through the center of that. It really does help to create some tension. And then she started to add some of the multimedia elements and she added the flower, which is from the multimedia Serenic. And notice again how she has duplicated the head or the seed part of the flower and it's much larger to create a secondary element. And again, she has resized that to create some variation within the repetition, but the repetition creates rhythm and it helps to tie elements together and again, move the eye in a natural fashion around the page. And then having added a multimedia element in its entirety, she then went and added in some additional layers. And this is the fun part about these multimedia elements. Didn't actually show those to you. So let's go back to those. And you can see that there are four different elements in this collection. And I've included the layers in their own separate folders. So let's go to the first one, for example. You can see that if we pull this into our workspace, then we can see all of the layers. Let's go ahead and pull this down. So here's the element. And then if we look at the layers panel, you can see that we have all of the different layers that create that element. And what this does is it allows us to use these layers independently. So for example, you can see that she added the pink stain behind her flower. So she's adding to one of the multimedia elements by adding additional elements. We've got the pink layer and then over here we have this blue photo blends layer. So you can simply select that layer in the layers panel and then drag it onto your canvas and then change the hue and saturation or the blending mode as preferred. So it's just a really neat way to be able to customize these multimedia elements. So she added a number of different layers from these PSD files to add interest. You can see that she added this urban threads here from the element number four. And then we have the stitched element for, from element number two. So she's using these elements independently. If we go back and just take a look, you can see that we have the stitched element here and then we have this stitched element on this here. So you can use these collections of elements together or individually to build your own versions or element clusters. So let's go ahead and go back to that and then she added in a brush up here to add some texture from the art play palette and then finally she added in a little bit more embellishment let's go ahead and turn off these layers so you can see that she added in a leaf element and this coordinates with the green and it also pulls in the green down here to sort of create a visual triangle that encircles her photo and leads the eye. It's almost framing the image. And then she added a word transfer and again she's doubled up on this word transfer to create a duplicate copy and you can do that simply by dragging that word transfer down to the new layer icon or up to the new layer icon if you're working in Photoshop Elements. And then she's applied a multiply blending mode and adjusted the opacity to 76. And notice how that intensifies and emphasizes that element on her page. 
To that, she added in this white art stroke, which was from the Art Play palette, and then she added in a dimensional wood word. And notice how she's placed this title to hug in the edges of this photo. So she's essentially creating a frame with the artistry. And notice how this title unifies with this flower element to create a cluster or an embellishment that creates a single focal point. So that completes the layout by Ola May. Very simple process here. She simply took an artsy paper. She added her photo and blended it by using one of the ceramic photo blends clipping masks. And then she embellished it using a variety of elements from the multimedia ceramic and the art play palette ceramic. In particular, she added a few brushes and she added some elements to create this really interesting, fun and lively artsy digital scrapbooking page. And if you're interested in doubling up on your artsy pages, I have a brand new workshop starting in a couple of weeks called Artsy Doubles, in which I will be showing you over the course of four weeks how to create double page layouts for photo books and albums so you have that cohesive spread. We'll be going into all of the design aspects that need to be considered when working on two pages at a time to create a cohesive spread. And I'll also be sharing some of my tried and tested approaches as well as templates to help you create those sorts of pages. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I can be reached at classes at AnnaAspinusDesigns.com and I will place all the supplies for this layout in the information below. Thanks for watching and I'll be back in the space again soon.